is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about ready or not 2 we'll be talking about terrifier 4 the conjuring 4 and chucky so ready or not star and modern scream queen samara weaving confirmed her return for the sequel to comic book recently she said i'm all in i think we're all in i don't know i think we are all in I don't know if we've had our blood handshake, but pretty much we've done the spit handshake, but we haven't cut each other's hands and robbed our blood or and rubbed our blood together. So she, of course, will be back for Ready or Not 2 as Grace. Jeff Snyder previously reported the project to be in the works a few months ago, and Radio Silence has since confirmed the project, and now we have Samara Weaving tagging in. I still think this film will revolve around Grace being forced to continue to play tribute or pay tribute to LaBelle due to her marital status still being intact. A lot of people will point out that she audibly said she wanted a divorce, but that's not how a divorce works. So I can see Grace discovering several other elite groups at play that have gotten where they are due to this entity, and we just expand on how influential LaBelle has been in this universe's society. Almost like a commentary on what people think is going on with a lot of elites and the fact that they make deals with certain people. Samara was wonderful in the first film and hopefully she delivers that visceral visceral scream of hers again during the sequel. The same scream we've heard not only in Ready or Not, but we heard it in the opening of Scream 6. Despite her having little scream time, she definitely made her impact in Scream 6 as well. So now I'm going to talk about The Conjuring 4. The Conjuring forecast continues to grow. Deadline put out this report. Ben Hardy and Mia Tomlinson have joined Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga in New Line's The Conjuring Last Rites. To my knowledge, this film is already shooting. Now, I could be mistaken, but to my knowledge and what all of the casting calls pointed out, this film is already shooting right now. Wilson and Farmiga are reprising their roles as paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren in the Michael Chaves directed sequel. Chaves previously directed The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, and The Nun 2. New Line's Conjuring Universe counts $2.25 billion at the global box office. The Conjuring films are based on the real-life cases, case files of the Warrens. However, the exact case for The Conjuring Last Rites is being held closely under wraps. I've talked about what it seems to be in a previous solo video dedicated to The Conjuring 4. Now, to talk about these stars, if I were to make a guess as to who these two play, going into some other plot details, I might also have addressed this in my solo video, they seem like they're around the age to play the characters of Jason and Hillary. Those could, of course, be code names, but there was a casting call for characters named Jason and Hillary, who are a couple that the film was casting for back in July. This couple is supposed to be expecting a baby, and that's about all I know on Jason and Hillary and how they tie into The Conjuring 4 and how these people could be playing those two. So Hillary, of course, is pregnant. Jason is a father expecting as well. So I just hope The Conjuring 4 can end everything on a high note because it's supposed to be the final film in the mainline series of films. I have no doubt that they'll continue to just do these spinoffs and explore the universe further. And plus, we still have the TV show. I would hope the fourth film just wraps up the Warren story and puts us on the right path to either explore another film in the universe or even sets up what we can expect in the TV show since the TV show is reportedly going to be exploring plot threads from the already existing universe so i look forward to seeing what comes of the conjuring 4 are you excited for the conjuring 4 why or why not do you think we should be getting more than just four conjuring movies i would say over the past decade the way we've gotten to play with this universe not every film is good of course but having four main films in the last decade you've had a good run i do without seeing ed and lorraine again so hopefully they go out on a high note now we're going to talk about Terrifier 4. Terrifier 4 is confirmed. Variety and other reputable trades reported on Damien Leone's comments coming out of Fantastic Fest, where he simply said, yes, there will be a 4, but no further details were given. Now, I believe in the past, he's also made it clear he wants to stop at 4, but who's to say we don't get other films in this universe? Obviously, I'm talking about spinoffs, but I definitely respect someone with a vision and you're working to get to that finish line. Damien Leone for as long as I've been keeping up with him, has always seemed like he is a filmmaker that is not just doing things off of the fly. He has a vision, he has a goal, an end point in mind, and he's working his way to that end point as long as we allow him to get there through the success of the sequels. 
and what he's been getting at the box office, how the films have been doing much better. Uh, not to say that there's been a lot, because of course we only have the second one. <laughs> in comparison to what we got for that first film, the second one is leaps and bounds better in terms of overall quality production wise. And three looks like it's even better in terms of the cinematography, the production value. So I would hope that he continues to stick to his guns and commits to having the fourth film be the final hoorah for Art the Clown. And we'll see what comes of that. Because I think, again, he was on record saying that the third film script was so long they broke it into two movies i could be mistaken but we'll see what comes to terrifier 4 i again i'm looking forward to seeing the movie when it comes out next month we got those positive reactions coming out of fantastic fest everyone seems to be loving it 3c films has dropped the review cody leach has dropped the review go check their reviews out if you haven't already it seemed to be very fun reviews from what i've watched i haven't been able to finish everyone's reviews been very busy but in the last thing we're going to talk about is chucky so chucky Season four, we know we're waiting for that announcement, whether it's happening or it's not, or we're going to get another announcement about the status of the movie that Don Mancini has already told us he's in development on. However, I want to talk about Lexi. Olivia Allen Lynn, allegedly, according to everyone out in Chucky Twitter that's been talking about this, has made a comment saying she wants to go back to being a mean girl when it comes to Lexi. And I want to say why I think that would be a bad idea. I think that would be a bad idea because of the fact that that we have already been seeing Lexi grow and explore the fact that she is more than just a mean girl. To see you revert back to that willingly as a character would kind of be a disservice to her growth. Why would you go back to that? Not to say that there's not something that obviously could happen in her life. Maybe if you tell it in a way that is rooted in her frustration with not being able to find Caroline, I can get behind it. If it's told in such a manner that it's rooted in her frustration with not being able to find Caroline, I could get behind it. Just like how we previously learned she was frustrated with her home life a little bit. So if you can tell it in that capacity, I'd be on board for it. But at this present time, I don't think turning Lexi back into a mean girl is going to be the best narrative decision to make. I also wouldn't want to see that if Lexi were to have her own solo film. I think we should continue to just keep that balance between Lexi actually is more than just a mean girl, but she knows how to be mean if necessary. Solely seeing her as a mean girl? Nah, I'm not here for that, Chief. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.